वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इनपुट इंपीडेंस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इन दिस वीडियो नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड इनपुट इंपीडेंस डेरिवेशन वी शुड बी हैविंग नॉलेज ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इक्वेशन एंड मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट of initial video that i have already explained in my earlier videos but still we are dealing with to use it to have a derivation of input impedance i'll explain that again now as we have seen voltage and current equations of transmission line v is equals to v1 into e to the power minus gamma z plus v2 into e to the power plus gamma z as well as current equation i is equals to i1 into e to the power minus gamma z plus i2 into e to the power plus gamma z we'll be using that equation here for a derivation of input impedance and in this equation this term v1 into e to the power minus gamma z that is incident voltage v2 into e to the power plus gamma z that is reflected voltage and this i1 into e to the power minus gamma z that is incident current and this i2 into e to the power plus gamma z that is reflected current now as this first term that belongs to incident voltage i'll replace this v1 with vi and as this term that is having relevance with reflected voltage v2 will get replaced by vr and this i1 that is having relevance with incident current so i'll write i1 as ii and as this i2 that is having relevance with reflected current i'll rewrite i2 as ir so let me write that now i'll be going to explain you some sign conventions which is there with voltage and current with respect to locations so for that i'll be explaining you transmission line now in this transmission line this end is belongs to source and this end belongs to load now length of transmission line is l now here very important thing that one should know see at the location of load this z that is zero and as you move in this direction at source that z will be minus l so this is what the basic thing that one should know in this transmission line at load side this z is equals to 0 in this equation and at source side z is equals to minus l in this two equation now if i want to calculate source voltage and source current then z that is equals to minus l that i'll place in this two equation and if i want to calculate load voltage and load current then i'll place z is equals to 0 in this two equations to have vl and il so at load terminal z is equals to 0 if you place z is equals to 0 in this then load voltage that will be you see vi into e to the power 0 so that will be 1 right so vl is equals to vi plus vr and il that will be equals to ii plus ir now to have source voltage and source current i will have to have z is equals to minus l in this two equation so source voltage that will be now you see vi into e to the power minus gamma z where z is equals to minus l so this will be e to the power plus gamma l and this will be e to the power minus gamma l and that is what we will apply it over here also now there are a few basic sign conventions that one should know see 
characteristic impedance that is vi by ii but in terms of reflected voltage and reflected current it will be minus of vr divided by ir so when you want to calculate characteristic impedance based on incident voltage and incident current it will be vi by ii but in terms of reflected voltage and reflected current it is minus you see you don't need to forget this minus sign right it is minus of vr by ir now similarly i'll explain you reflection coefficient now you see reflection coefficient in terms of voltage it will be vr by vi but in terms of current it will be minus of ir divided by ii so reflection coefficient that is vr by vi but in terms of current it is minus of ir by ii so please do not forget this sign convection the reason is this is what will be using it for a calculation of input impedance now to have input impedance we will have to see from source side from here we will have to see so here we have input impedance so at input impedance z in we will have to have z is equals to minus l right and we will be having source voltage and source current so z in that is source voltage vs divided by source current is and this two equation that will be used to have input impedance now for further derivation of input impedance i'll be considering lossless transmission line so for lossless transmission line gamma that is equals to alpha plus j beta where for lossless transmission line alpha is equals to 0 so gamma that we can replace by j beta for lossless transmission line now we will place this gamma that is equals to j beta in this equation and i'll rewrite this z in now here first of all i'll be using this formula of z0 now you see vi that we can write as z0 into ii and this vr that we can write as vr is equals to minus of z0 into ir so let us place this vi and vr in terms of z0 ii and ir over here now if you observe in numerator this z0 is common so let us take it outside so here you can see reflection coefficient that is minus of ir by ii so we can say this ir that is equals to minus of reflection coefficient into ii so here ir that i'll be writing as reflection coefficient in minus of reflection coefficient into ii so let me write that now you see ir that is minus of reflection coefficient so here minus reflection coefficient into ii now in this equation you can observe this ii that we can take common and that will get cancel right so now i'll be writing simplified version of this equation if you see my previous video based on reflection coefficient of transmission line then i have derived reflection coefficient is equals to zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0 so that is what we will be placing it in this formula so let us place this over here now in this equation if you take lcm right then zl minus z0 that will go over this side and zl minus z0 that will get cancel from numerator and denominator and after that i'll simplify this equation you see see zl into 
e to the power plus j beta l plus z l into e to the power minus j beta l is there plus z0 into you see z0 will come over here e to the power plus j beta l minus z0 into e to the power minus j beta l is there similarly in denominator if you observe see z0 into e to the power plus j beta l and see minus minus plus z0 into e to the power minus j beta l is there so z0 into e to the power plus j beta l plus e to the power minus j beta l is there and now you see with zl zl into e to the power plus j beta l minus zl into e to the power minus j beta l is there so plus zl into e to the power plus j beta l minus e to the power minus j beta l is there right now basic formula of cos and sin that we are dealing with to apply now see sin theta and cos theta that is what the case which we will apply over here so here you see this term that will be based on cosine function so this will be cos of beta l into 2 and this will be as per sine function so this will be sine of beta l into 2j right so that is what the case which we will apply here so let me simplify this further now you see this 2 that will get cancelled and as if I take cos beta l common from numerator and denominator then I can rewrite this function in terms of you see now here 2 is getting cancelled here only zl will be there plus j z0 sin beta l by cos beta l that will be tan beta l and in denominator see this will be z0 only here 2 and cos beta l is getting cancelled plus j z l into sin beta l divided by cos beta l that will be tan beta l now this is the standard input impedance formula and this formula also can be written in terms of normalized impedance so to have normalized impedance z in that will be z in divided by z0 and normalized load impedance let us say capital zl so that is zl by z0 so if i divide z0 here and if i take z0 common from numerator and denominator then i can rewrite this equation in terms of normalized impedance so normalized z in that is equals to normalized zl plus j tan beta l divided by 1 plus j zl tan beta l right so this is what our normalized z in right so these two formulas that is what the formulas which are there for input impedance and these formulas are very essential in terms of solving examples so you will have to remember even i hope you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video